This is Millie Weaver and you're watching the InfoWars Nightly News. Well, we have seen tons of anti-Trump protests out there since Donald Trump has been elected as the President of the United States. On Inauguration Day, we saw the Women's March on Washington, which don't let the name fool you because it was about as anti-Trump as any other anti-Trump march I've ever seen. So now pro-Trump supporters have organized a march for Trump. It's going to be on Saturday this coming Saturday, March 4th at noon nationwide. This is going to be great, folks. It's going to be a chance for Trump supporters to come together, feel each other's support and unity, and to make a bold statement to the whole country that Trump does have the American people's support. So make sure you go out there, guys. Show your support. Um, check the website, marchfortrump.org, to see if your nearest city is going to be holding a rally because there are tons of cities. I mean, it's nationwide. And another thing that's very interesting here is that they are holding anti-Trump counter March for Trump protests now. So the left caught wind of this and of course the snowflake SJWs are holding counter Trump protests to shut down Trump supporters. Let's take a look at this article right here. This is the name of one of the protests in Minnesota, the counter-Trump protest. It's called Make Racists Afraid Again. Counter-protest the Minnesota March for Trump on March 4th. So basically, they're going around saying that we're, you know, the Trump supporters are a bunch of racists, a bunch of white supremacists coming out of the woodwork, and that they need to shut us down. It actually says this in this article. It's pretty disturbing. And we all know that that's not true. We all know that there are tons of Latinos for Trump, you know, African Americans for Trump, Asians for Trump. The, the support is completely diverse. So to say that is just completely wrong, but this is what they're using to justify shutting us down. Let's take a look here. It says, please bring noisemakers to help drown out the hate speech and alternative facts of the alt-right. So they want to try and shut down our speech. This is about free speech. This is about us being able to show that we politically support a candidate. doesn't matter who, but everyone has the right to the freedom of speech and to, to voice their political opinions without fear of terrorism. So they're actually planning to come out and terrorize pro-Trump supporters, which is absolutely un-American and unacceptable. So this is just a prime example, guys. You know, you could just blow it off for this weekend and be like, you know, I just don't feel like going out and, and bothering. But the, the point is, are you for freedom of speech? Are you for standing up for our rights? Because if we just sit around and say, well, you know, maybe another time, maybe another protest, maybe another weekend, we're going to lose our First Amendment, folks, because they aren't saying that. They're going out any chance they get, and they're trying to shut us up and shut us down, which is completely unacceptable. So make sure you go out this weekend, March 4th, to march for Trump, because you're not just marching for Trump, you're marching for the First Amendment, and your right to voice your opinion without fear of being terrorized. So make sure you guys do it, and wear your Hillary for prison, your Trump is my president, your Trump 2020 shirts to show that we are not going away and we're gonna continue to express our right to be here, our right to exist, our right to have our opinions. This is Millie Weaver, signing off for the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm gonna tell you about a really important piece of history, a piece of Americana history that is truly the rebirth of our republic that's just as important of what happened in 1775 and 1776. It's part of a dream, it's part of a destiny, it's part of a vision. I knew that InfoWars had tens of millions of listeners in the United States, not to mention worldwide. And I knew that if we put out very affordable t-shirts that stated basic truths, that the public would show up in Cleveland where the RNC was being held and that would have a massive effect on MSM and the whole fake stream media system, and it did. We had aircraft flying with giant banners, 
MSM admitted a third of the people at the convention were wearing Hillary for prison shirts, Infowars.com shirts, and the fact that the elite knew was finally broadcast to the American people sitting at home across this country that they weren't alone, that other people knew the truth, that other people were upset about the tyranny, and that other people wanted to restore our great nation and empower the individual once again. And it happened. Well, I envisioned the Hillary for Prison shirt and others, and I have come up with my crew a new shirt that is the maxim for the next four years to keep America great. Here is a view of that vision. I hope you resonate with it. You know what, I go out to all these anti-Trump protests and I see people out there um, representing their anti-Trump hate speech. And you know what, there's very few people who actually have the guts to go out there and wear a you know, make America great again a tie or a Trump is my president t-shirt like I'm wearing right now. So I can do it. I'll go out there and represent my Trump attire because I'm not afraid to, to use my First Amendment and my free speech to say what my political opinion is. I know. So we need more men out there who are going to represent and show Trump support. You know, don't be hiding in the shadows. Let America know that Trump has a lot of really strong people supporting him. And of course I can see why they are attacking something as simple as a t-shirt because this Hillary for Prison t-shirt was so effective it actually dominated the entire election cycle. They said Hillary for Prison took over the narrative and actually resulted in President Donald Trump getting elected to be the 45th president. That's how powerful something as simple That's as right, a t-shirt is. That's right, Leanne. That's right. They don't want us to exercise our birthright of the First Amendment because they're a bunch of dumbed-down stooges that have been brainwashed by globalist propaganda. The others that are above them are actual traitors that know what they're doing. And InfoWars and our listeners and viewers are the entire spearhead of the fight against this system. And that's why this shirt's gone viral. I put it out a month before Trump won. Trump is my president. He's going to win. InfoWars.com on the back. That's why we put out the Hillary for President 2017, an updated version, uh, deport George Soros. But listen, the new shirt of 2017 is being manufactured being printed right now in America. In a couple days, the 18-wheelers driving down here to Texas. And it is a shirt we're going to show you on screen. It's already for sale for $9.95, half price, introductory, so the most hardcore patriot viewers and listeners and the folks that are on our InfoWars newsletter can get it first. $9.95. So we make a few bucks to support the operation. You get a very inexpensive shirt. Buy two for yourself, your wife, your neighbor, your boss, your employees, whatever. Buy 20 copies. Just whatever you do, get this information out there because it is Trump Pence 2020 keeping America great to totally trigger leftist and brainwashed globalist minions. And on the back it says, America first since 1776 because they're demonizing the idea that a country is for its people and protects its citizens and its nation. That's how upside down all of this has gotten. So we're the first to put it out that I know of, Trump Pence 2020. Keeping America Great on the front, on the back. America First in 1776, Infowars.com. They want to be in gangs. They want to be out there where they're the majority coming after us. When we're the majority, it is so important to wear your colors, like you're in a motorcycle you know, club, that you're a patriot, you want free market, you want sovereignty, you love God, you believe in justice, you believe in a free press. You're standing against these bullies for the First Amendment. Get your Trump Pence 2020 shirt keeping America great since 1776. Now is the time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to hit the streets peacefully with information and absolutely kick their ass in the info war. So get the new shirt available exclusively at InfoWars.com. Trump Pence 2020. The vision is endless and you can't stop the destiny. That's right, and think of all the mass triggering that is going to occur when everyone out there wears their Trump is my president shirts because the liberals cannot handle it. Right. You know, we're going to trigger so many SJWs out there and get it on film. If you're walking around and you're wearing a Trump is my president shirt or a Hillary for prison shirt and you trigger an SJW, get it on film because we would love to see that. Whoa, whoa. Are, I just you had... an, are you an American citizen? Then hashtag Trump is your president. Yeah. I just trigger. had an idea. I just had an idea. Yeah. We had over $100,000 in prizes for anybody that got on national corporate television and exposed the fact that Bill Clinton was a rapist and had a background involved in that in his settled cases. 
I'm offering $100,000 in prizes when this new shirt hits the street that says Trump, Pence 2020, legally and lawfully in public commons areas and at public events that gets out on national TV that each person that does it, that talks about Infowars.com and Trump, Pence are my president, keeping America great, you will get $5,000 until the $100,000 is exhausted. And I paid all those out before. We're doing it again. $100,000 contest right now being announced. So get your shirts, get them out there. And it doesn't matter if it's at the local city council or the county commissioners, whatever. It doesn't matter you're not getting the prize. You're standing up against these bullies and these tyrants and letting them know you're not backing down. Now, this is teleprompter free. This is unscripted. Ladies, what else do you want to say? Show up to the town halls. We know that we have all of these uh, Democratic operatives showing up to your local town halls and yelling at your representatives. They're probably not even from your town, but they are being bussed in to harass your representatives to force them to a more progressive leftist agenda so you need to show up in these t-shirts <laughs> and let them know where you stand that you're not going to back down and when they start getting up and being wild and shutting just down keep the getting the info out you it, shut them down as George Orwell said in a world of universal deceit telling the truth revolutionary act we're just standing up peacefully for everything that's decent in the First Amendment Millie closing comment well, you know, I just think that the massive amount of triggering that's going to occur is going to be absolutely phenomenal to watch. It's going to be very entertaining. Make sure you get out there, troll the media, get in their shots when they're trying to report the news, get up in the back with your shirt and everything, and basically just show them we're not going to go away. We know you guys are fake news. We know what's going on. We are the resistance. You think you've seen some snowflakes melting. You've seen nothing yet. That's right. History is happening before us. Let's be part of it. Let's continue to win. They want to fight. They want to push us around, as I said a hundred times. They want to fight. They better believe they've got one. Get this shirt and so many other shirts at InfoWarsStore.com and fund the second American Revolution. Because listen, they claim they're the resistance. They're the globalists. They're both political parties. They're the foreign banks all against Trump, all against America, all against nationalism, and battling other countries around the world that are trying to get out from under this corporate tyranny. No, we have a beachhead to restore the republic, and we are the resistance, and you are the resistance. So I want to salute all the viewers that are supporting us. Get this shirt and other shirts today at InfoWarsStore.com. And ladies and gentlemen, it's not just this new limited edition shirt that you can pre-order and get half off. It's going to be shipping in the next week. But it's not just this new limited edition shirt that we are pre-offering here at half off to make sure it goes viral and has a huge impact. We are about to end production of Hillary for Prison 2017 Deport George Soros limited edition shirts and the classic Trump is my president red shirt with Infowars.com on the back. So if you want to support freedom of speech and standing up against bullies, it is critical to support Infowars.com and get one of these three shirts. From myself and all of the Infowars crew, I salute all of you, no matter what color you are or where you came from, for standing up for national sovereignty, the free market, family, and God. I'm Alex Jones, and this is the Infowars.